Hey, this is Yama23, and today I am going to be doing a very special review because today is my 200th video review, and to celebrate my 250 videos I've done, I'm going to be doing it with the brand new line of Transformers Prime figures. So today we'll be reviewing Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Wheeljack. Now, this isn't exactly what Wheeljack is going to look like on the show. I thought he was because when he died, when I thought he died in his suit when he exploded from Starscream, I thought when Shockwave came, he was going to remold him because of his beast all going out of control. So he needed, you know, blah blah all that. Your game, if you get it. So I thought he was going to look like that, but he actually didn't. He's just a plain old simple wheel track. I love that. He's my second favorite character, and he'll always be. But the reason I got this remold of Wheel Track is because it's speaking down to me. It's a pretty nice remold. So before we get on to the looks of it, let's take a look uh, at his instructions. Since so yeah, here here is his instructions. Since the tail beast hunters, this is continuing from Laserback. Here's a picture of Wheel Track. Um, that he looks like he's in space. There's his technical data about his uh, weapon. And here's the tale of the beast hunters. If you wish, if you wish to read it, you could pause right here to read it. So yeah. Um, so yeah. All right. Now to the figure. And like I said, um, it's just a very nice remold figure. I'm not really big fans of remolds and all that. Like all the, even though this is a beast hunter series, I guess they have to have hunters for the beast. And I wasn't a big fan that they remolded some of them. Them, but the wheel track one, I kind of dig this one the most. I think this is my favorite mode of every remote we've seen. So, yeah, he's got a lot of spikes on him. He's got his usual colors. This is just really done different. We'll get in all the details. But well, here's his weapon on him, it pegs in right there on that hole easily. So, here it is. So, yeah, it's very nice. It's got some, it's got that dick right there. And if you flip under it, it looks like it the pro. Freddy King's head right there. That's very cool if you can see that, yeah. And to turn to his weapon, then all you have to do is just fold this out and it's his gear it's chainsaw or whatever you want to. And it yeah, it comes with this six and you can launch it. All you have to do is just push this up. It doesn't launch very good. It's not a spring, it's just a push out launcher. So yeah. Let's see here. It does kind of launch pretty good, but not good at spring ones. But this this can also open up, as you can see. I don't know if you could put hands under there, like for cuffs and all. So yeah, there's this weapon. We'll just put it aside right here. But here's the car. Very nice. It's definitely remolded a lot differently. Here at at the front, this part right here, it's completely redone right there with the light stone. And I love it that they add a touch of black in there to make it look like he's got battle smoke scars, something like that. I don't know. It's got some wing looks in the back to make it look like it's got turbos. And I've personally, I like to make the wings like this to make it look like it's got more fast, like it's got jetpacks in the back, something like that. So yeah, he's got spikes right there on the bank right there. These wings can like you know you can adjust them flat or up either way. It's up to you. Bikes are right there. The wheels aren't remolded. It's just a lot of remote difference right here. Yes, it rolls very well. So yeah, this is just done very well. I really dig this real come up. Now I have to do a comparison. Here is compared to the original wheel jack in car mode. You can already see there's a lot of difference between these two. You can pause right here to see this the front difference. Right here to see their sides twice, their backs, and their fronts right here. So yeah, there's a lot of difference between these two. A whole lot of difference. So yeah, now let's go on to transformation. Now the transformation for Wheeljack is the same as R.I.D. version, but except one part, which I'll get to. Alright, so what you want to do first is just... Puts pull these now the hood the front down for the feet because you know it's gonna form that. Now it instructs us it says to push it down 
like that, but it's this part to push it down is a lot stronger than the RID version. Sometimes I fear I'm going to break that. Then, and you just have to do that. Simple, but I found another way how to do it. So here's the second way to do it. Just pull it a little away from it and just turn it around like that. And just push that up and turn that. Pull up the shoulders, whatever these things are. All right, let me raise the camera up a little more. Here we go. Take the front. You got lift it up. All right. Pull out the windows. Turn them around. Push them right into place. Same thing over here. It's a little tougher, stronger than the other, than the RD version wheel jack. It's a lot stronger. Now here's where this is all different. All right. You want to pull this up, and then. Push the head up the same step way. Alright, now let's finish the arms. You want to do that simply like that. Okay, now let's come to here. You want to like, so separate these and push them up. So that way they can lock it to place. Push these wings up and flip these around like so. Or his wing panel, something like that. I don't know. Okay. Now, you want to take these and push them up like so. Same thing like RD. And they will lock into place onto him. Oop, hold up. What's that place? Alright, everything's in place. Now we just fix them all up. Like so. Okay, there you go, you got Transformers Prime Beast Hunters, Lost Class Wheeljack, and it's robot mode. Now, yeah, like I said, I really dig these rem this one. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really big fans of remodel ones, but this one's speaking out to me. This one's really good. I really dig this. Let me raise the camera up a little. Alright, now, let's get on to it. Now. There are some side effects that you have with this wheel drag compared to the other one, but wheel drag is a very nice mold character, and to remold him like something like it to this because he's a wrecker, this is something very nice for a wrecker look. Yeah, because yeah, he's a wrecker, and I imagine wreckers like this all toughed up. So yeah, very nice. I like the wings on his back; it makes him look like he can fly. So yeah. These things don't stay up real well. They sometimes fall down like that one. That's very loose. It tends to fall down. But they do lock into place if you pull them out. So yeah. And he's got... He's just got a lot of nice great things on this one. Now, he's got spikes on his hands like he's got weapons on there. He's just all covered in spikes like a record should be. So yeah. Now here's this weapon you can store in the same place right back here. Like so, and it'll look like that. I don't know, that looks very nice for a place storage weapon. Or, oh, oh, sorry. Alright, now, let's get his weapon on him. Same thing you gotta do. Now, here, this is a difficult way of how to get his weapon on. You just take this and peg it right into here. It's a little tough. Well, my case, it's not a little tough. It's really hard. Sometimes I fear the thumb of the hand is going to break off. Or if when you try to put it in. So, yeah. There he goes. With his weapon in his hand. And there he goes. There he is with his weapon. This is a very big chainsaw. Or whatever it is you want to call it. Gear shredder. Something like that. I don't know. No, so, yeah. This is very nice. Oh. But it does add a little weight to him, as you can tell. So, yeah. But if you're, if you're not big fans of these wings, but I am, and you want to sort them, here's how, what you can do. Just fold them back over and tuck them up under here. There, his wings are gone. And you got the wheel jack back. So, yeah. this is a, It's just a very nice wheel jack. I really dig this remodel one. So yeah, but I like the wings up personally. But if you don't, you could just tuck them in like that. So yeah, you could get 
there is one good pose with him with his weapon on. On. Uh, like so. First, you got precision, everything. So, like this. Is a good pose for him with his weapon. There we go. But the weapon adds a lot of weight to him, as you can tell. It'll make him top heavy. Yeah, see? It refuses to stand up. It, like, needs some things to lead on, lean on. So, yeah. I don't like it. That It's way too light. So, yeah. There he is. Finally stand up. Now, time to compare him to someone you gotta see. Here he is next to R.I.D. Wheeljack in robot mode. Yeah. There's a lot of difference right between these two. Just stand, please. You can see a lot of difference between these two. The head mode is different, and yeah. Now, you know all the articulation for Wheeljack, because you see it in the video, blah, 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 all that. It's got all the same articulation, just different mode. So, yeah. Okay, but I just really wish he can stand up in the way I really want him to. In robot mode, but he refuses to because he's so top-heavy. It makes me mad that it does that. That, ugh. But if you can figure out how to make him stand in the way you want to, that's fine. Now, here's some characters to bring out for yourself. Here's, uh, here, let me pull it. Here's Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Uh, Lux Class Smoke Screen. Um, and here's Wheeljack. Here are three hunters I have so far. So, yeah, this looks very nice upon yourself with these three. These are my three favorite Autobots remotes of the Beast Hunter slime. Well, Smoke Street, though, because he's... Without the armor, he looks fantastic. But, yeah. I personally have the... For the Hunters, I have them like this. Now, I do have a second Smoke Screen for myself for the regular team. But these are just Beast Hunter ones. Now, all I need is Predaking. Now, Voyager Class Predaking gets out, but I refuse to get him because... It doesn't speak to me. It doesn't look well. The I looked on one of the shoes and said one of the legs is shorter than the other. I don't like that. I only... But the mode of Predator King that really speaks to me is the ultimate Predator King that's 21 inches tall. Oh, that really speaks to me. I gotta get that one. That it looks awesome. It looks really good. But I really hope that Party King does have a robot mode. Because if he doesn't, we're just gonna keep him on our shelves as Dragon Mode. We can only hope, but all the Party Kings do have the same robot mode. Who knows? He may do look like that. And all the Optimists look like that. And we are about to witness Optimus die. The third episode just happened, and it looks great. Now we're about to witness the fourth episode. Will Optimus Prime actually die? Die for good, or will he die and have a chance to come back? We'll just have to wait and wait and take a lot of guess to think what happens. So, this is the Almost 23. Thank you for watching my 200 video, 250 video. I mean, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this very special review. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.